today we want to be considering cow neckline blouse cow neck blouse just like as you see what made the blouse fall this way so that's just what we want to consider it's as easy as a and b and c very easy easy steps but before we continue for you to achieve this cow neck blouse what you need is you need a very soft material you don't if if you are using hard fabric it's not going to really go well with it you need something like chivon like this i want to be using or you need a soft silk or you need crepe these are basically the materials the fabric that will achieve this so you need something very light to achieve this so it's very very easy what do we do we cut out the back uh, measurement cut out the back panel first actually this fabric i don't want to manage it so i'll be making it for a little girl but for an adult it all depends on your measurements reduce bust 40 under burst 14 and a half half length 17 waistline 34 you could use blouse length 26 and uh what's it called hips 42 it all depends on your measurements that you want to use then on the across back for the neckline and for an adult you could just use four inches you could use four inches so but for this little girl the chest is 22 inches The chest is 22 inches the across back is 10 10 inches remember for your back you divide by 2 inches just like your normal basic body's measurement it's the front that has the curl that falls that is sloppy the, the back is just the normal back as if you have your normal back shape there so it's the front that forms that shape so you just count those way this your back is 15 you achieve it this back is 10 so I'll make it five and a half because of sewing allowance then I'll go to the armhole the round armhole is 11 so I could cut on five and a half or five For this type of fabric, you have to be very careful so that it doesn't shift position. So that fits the pin. Then the neckline for the back, it all depends on the type of neckline you want to achieve. You know, for an adult, if I, I were to be, if it were to be for me, I'll just use a cross back four inches by two or three so but i'll be using for this baby i'll be using two and a half inches by two inches If you want the back to be very high you could make it one and a half or one quarter so i'm reducing it i don't want it to be up to me so it all depends and if you want it low so you just have the back it like this way then you cut out the and you slant it you slant by one and a half or one and quarter the slope And be so careful, you know, chivon and all the slip material, they don't like picking check. The chalk will not want to show on it. You have to just be very careful. You see? 
ترکیبی میانه در شیر اینجا زبطی من The bust is 22. 22 divided by 4. Front panel is on 2 fold. Back panel is on 2 fold. That's 2 divided by 4 give us 5 and quarter. 5 and half. 5 and a half inches. 5 and a half inches this way. You just do what you have 2 inches so in advance. Then you come to the waist. The waist is about 12 or 12 and a half. That's half length position. Then the blouse length is about 15 inches. So I go add half inch for turn up. This is done my material. So the waist is. Let me make the waist 20 inches or 21 inches. So divided by 4, that will give me 5 and quarter. I have my 2 inches around. Then blouse hips. You know if you are, it's an adult, it's necessary you take your blouse hips from your blouse length. So the blouse length, you take the blouse hips so that you not just have it and the blouse will not enter the person. You have to get the blouse hips if it's going to be get, get to somewhere like this. So you get the hips measure of that place, then you can fix it. So for this blouse hips, I'll be using the same 22 inches. So that's five and a half when I divide by four. And I have the normal two inches. So you have your shape this way. Just cut out the back. The back is just the normal basic body's back pattern. achieve this coil this fall this way what you do is that you make sure that you fold your fabric in a triangular form for the front panel so this way the tip this way just take it this way as if it forms a triangle this way so, having achieved this, every other thing is pretty easy. So, having it this way, you just bring your back panel, you bring your back panel this way, then you make it, you can, use, can you see what I'm doing? If it's actually for an adult, you know you need more uh, fabric. So your fabric, you just place your back panel this way. Then you make sure that the end line touches the end here. So that such that they are equal. So let me just see. This is what will form your coil, the folds that will form the cow neck. 
So it all depends on how large you want your fold to be. So if it's just here, if it's just this length, let me check this length. The the allowance I'm giving here, this is just three inches. You not really feel the the fold. But if you want it to fall very well, you need to add this extra inch of maybe six more inches, seven, eight, nine, ten, just like that, depending on how uh coil you want it to be. So you just extend it a bit this way. Can you see what I'm doing? Just extend it this way. You see, as I'm extending it, the fall, this is what will form the fall in the front. So it's getting wider so that I had more fall effect to it. So this is like five and a half inches. You see? This is like five and a half inches. If I want it to be six inches, I just place it forward this way. But I ensure that this is here this way. So you can see <clears throat> all from the shoulder down to the coil neck, you see I have like 12 inches. If you want more, you can just extend it. You could have 13 inches, 14 inches or thereabouts. So you just take your ruler and rule it this way. Please, I hope you can see it from your shoulder point. You rule it straight this way. You, you see it's about, I see this slanty this way. So... So for an adult, I've told you, you could add I told you that all this chivon, you don't like to take chalk, you don't like it to draw on them. <laughs> but don't never mind them, you have to draw the straight line on them. So having it this way right now, you can see the extent of the coil about 12 inches for an adult you could have like 13 inches 16 inches just from the back neckline you could add six inches extra seven inches extra just how how long you want it to fall so you take your ruler this way from this shoulder end so you draw the you you, you connect it to the extreme here Draw out your normal body measurement for the sides. take note of is the fact that this SS of the coil is going to get all the way down here so if you don't want that you could just close it up this way just decide when you want it to end it's not that you cut it off you just use it to shape the back if you want it to end on the underbrush location so you just take the measurement of your underbust if it's 15 inches. So you just place it this way so that it will end here and try to shape the side that way. And try to shape the sides that way so that you don't have much excess. So uh, if you don't want the coil 
or the fall to get to the extent of your underburst or the waistline what you just need to do is just to shape the side up to the point where you don't want you know the SS will also be here and you know it's chibon but if you like it that way you just leave it this way and i'll show you how it will come out now but if you don't like it that way you sh you just shift a bit this way you just shift to where you want it if it's the underburst you want the coil to stop maybe 14 and a half or 15 inches you just stop there this way so you just shape your sides this way so that you shape off those excess from the sides this way you just shape it off from the sides but as for me i want to leave this for the small baby so that when she wears it it's going to come out this way you can see it's already having the curl so that's just how to achieve your cow neck um, what is it called blouse so easy so another thing you have to take note of is you have to do your facing you have to do your facing so how do you do your facing you just cut your facing this way for the top so you just cut out your facing this way just basically to be able to turn in the neckline remember it's not something you're going to be using lining for or something like that it's just a light material that you, you're using she won't like material and what have you so you just do the face then so you could hand here the underburst or anywhere here so you just do your face in this way you need know, to have the hand shape as well Just same shape so that it's easy to turn in the neck. But one thing, this part must be on a folded end. So remember, you will not be cutting the front. Let me explain. This must be this way. It must be this way. So it must be on this folded end this way. Just a fix a thing to like this. If not, there are so many ways to achieve a particular thing in fashion. You see other methods and so it's all about just taking the easiest one for you. That's what fashion is all about. There are no hard and fast truths to anything in fashion. You just take the easiest way out for you. Just cut out that same shape you have. side facing each other this way right side facing each other this way for your facing right side facing each other this way so you join join your facing right side facing each other so so that when you turn 
when you turn in, you now have your top, so you don't have anything. Then after joining, you join the back and front panel, get the shoulders, join the front and back panel. you have attached your facing to it which forms like the lining then you join there the shoulders remember this will fall in so you have it this way all this excess will fall in fall in so you have it this way then you could cut the type of sleeve you want if it's a jacket sleeve or long sleeve or whatever speed you want to eat so that's just the simple way how to achieve your cow neck blouse just the cow neck blouse so till i come away please don't go and use a all this art fabric and <laughs> just make sure you use something very light that will fall i'll form the color so till i come away next